Hey, what's up, guys? It's Summer here. Welcome back to the channel, man. And we're on the final 40 to 50 minutes of Exavine. The last hour. I think it goes away at 4 p.m. EST. I'm recording this at 3.10. If you guys saw in the intro there, I was playing a crap ton during Saturday. Honestly, like, just after playing for at least four to five hours, I got a lot to say about this game. <laughs> it's equally good and bad. I would say more good than bad, though. But, like, just to start it off, like, this game is so fast paced it's just non-stop action most of the time and you know like just everything is just really good if i were to rate this game right now where it's at right now comparing it to the first initial beta that you know everyone played when it was really hyped up i would say that the initial beta was like a four to five now it's like a six to seven out of ten and with the amount of changes that they made that i really don't know a lot about it still feels like x defiant it still feels like what i played in the initial beta and it's not you know something different like the gunplay feels really smooth and really good everything feels responsive for the most part the movement's really good as well and, and everything's super easy to get used to and i'm loving the maps except for this map this is probably my least favorite map right here because the spawns make no sense and all i've really played is domination um i played one hard point match i think it's called occupy or something like that i didn't really like it but domination has seemed to be my sweet spot yeah like literally everything still feels the same from the initial beta just everything just feels you know more stream I, I, I guess i would say everything feels more optimized like i'm getting more fps just everything feels so much better man i don't know but like all the games have been just constant fun man i'm not having I'm not having any issues i'm not having um lag outs not any like frame drops or anything so it definitely runs i think the biggest challenge that they have is just making it what games usually have nowadays making it more modern and not out of date i guess is the word Look at that movement. Look at that movement. Also, another big thing that I'm really like, like that I, I love about this game is that the skill-based matchmaking is just not there, which is honestly amazing. Like, I don't know if you guys saw, but like that movement that I just did on that guy. Like, okay. Oh, oh my God. I'm about to get started with that. Oh my God. Oh my God. I was really going to talk about that after the skill-based matchmaking, but skill-based matchmaking, it, it is what it should be. It's literally you just match up with random people at different skill levels. Some that don't know the game, some that do know the game. Like those two guys I just killed just don't know how to play the game. But like the skill-based matchmaking, it being literally non-existent, it doesn't feel that I have to like grind and sweat out it's just amazing and i did watch jeff's video and i'm going to talk about this as well i'm able to play this game for five hours non-stop like i was sad or not even sad but like i was like damn i really got to get off this game to do other things because like i'm having fun playing the game you know what i'm saying like i'm genuinely having fun playing this game i'm not getting tired of it i'm not getting bored of it like i am with call of duty and maybe that's because i've been playing call of duty for arguably a couple years straight now with no alternative and especially hardcore for the last two years with modern warfare 2 and modern warfare 3. it's a refresher that was needed for a lot of people i think i feel like x is gonna be that game where like if you're getting shit on cod or you, you, you just don't like that call of duty for that year x is gonna be there for you no skill based matchmaking movement guns are balanced all that stuff and i haven't really seen a clear meta as well there's no clear meta there's no like oh you got to be using but there's like no clear weapon that you should be using or that you have to be using at all just everything just feels so balanced and usable dude because in modern warfare 3 there's literally websites literal websites that you have to follow or should probably follow if you want to play good in multiplayer or and in warzone but on to the bad the bad part about x define is the networking issues and also just like how some of the tacticals and lethals are but i got blown up when i'm behind a building part another thing that i just really really disliked and just found really frustrating was the choice in controller settings like there's literally no options for controller settings at all you can't get custom key binds you can't do a lot of things and it's really really bad another thing i would really like to see is kill streaks man uh, i just don't feel like getting a three kill streak and not being rewarded is a kill streak bro it's just a couple of kills and there should be a reward if you get more than like you know three three kills or what's ever considered a kill streak because like it's so boring to get three kills and you know actually not be rewarded like it, it's such a huge factor into like staying alive and playing well like for me like i know it just it just doesn't matter if i go on a kill streak because i'm not gonna get rewarded for playing good which should not be happening 
Oh, did we flip swans? We're idiots. I was clearly around that corner. Like, that's what I'm talking about. And I thought it was the net code issue that caused those, like, getting killed behind a corner. But it's apparently the networking issues and the ping and all that stuff. So they got to fix that. The issues are so apparent on this game. It's insane. Like, the networking issues from the controller key mods. Like, I had to learn how to play with, like, a, like you know, settings that I'm just not used to. I have to jump with the L2 slide with the right stick when it's completely opposite for me on Call of Duty. And also, the audio needs to be reworked. What? That just doesn't make sense. How does that make any sense? But the audio is also a huge thing. I'm playing on like 85 master volume. I don't understand how I can't hear anything. I can't play and watch YouTube videos and or listen to music while playing this game. The audio is either too low sometimes or it's just not apparent. Like it just doesn't, you just can't hear it. And I don't know why it's like that. I'm playing on a hundred volume for effects as well. And I just, I literally can't hear anything. And another thing that I want to talk about was like how arcadey, it looks like for me i'm more of a, like a realistic guy but like honestly i fuck with the arcadey shit and another complaint i was going to talk about which i've, I've, I've kind of changed my uh, opinion on is that you know the graphics here and there they either just don't load or they look very bad like right now none of the models are blended in right but like in in game when you're holding the gun or anything like that it looks perfect so they really gotta work on that it, i really am digging this cartoony feel that the game gives off the vibe that it gives off and like it's your you know, a, a modern arcadey FPS game. And it's actually good. And it will be good. But the problem that X Definer has right now, in my opinion, is that it, it's it's already past its prime. Like the hype is already gone. At this point, it is the Call of Duty alternative. For an FPS shooter, the alternative is now X Defiant. If you don't like Call of Duty, you don't like that year's Call of Duty, or you don't like what happened to Call of Duty during an update, switch over to X Defiant. And for this last game that I want to play, because I don't got a lot of time, I'm gonna snipe because sniping sniping is oh god, I don't even want to get started with it. it it feels great to get you know clips and all that stuff like a mo majority of my clips were sniping but dude the tac 50 delay is crazy it needs better attachment stats this the m44 you got to find the right build and i think i found the right build and it feels great it just feels weird when it it cocks it back and then it takes like a second or two to shoot like, i would love to show you guys but i don't think there i can go into the firing range yeah i can't but like would i make videos on x to fire daily if it released sooner yeah <laughs> if there's a lot more hype around it yeah i would x to fire literally only has a chance if call of duty makes a bad game and it's treyarch making call of duty 2024 which is call of duty black ops goal for and there's no way treyarch messes up so x defiant uh, good luck <laughs> to the developers mark rubin good luck i enjoy the game but just looking at the past of, of of you know past games like i just don't think it's gonna end well i i guess um or get you're not gonna get the results that you're we're hoping for or expecting i don't think it'll kill call of duty i think it'll be a nice competitor to call of duty for a couple of years until you know the, the game either dies out which i hope doesn't happen or something drastic happens that they change and just nobody wants to play it until they make another change back to it but like i'm I, like this game is so much fun man it really is it's just the issues that this game has are just so apparent bro and that they have to be fixed there could be an argument that it's just not modernized or not modern enough to be released yet and i i could totally see that and the fact that there were reports saying that the game was trying to catch up to call of duty was is actually insane i'm just hoping that the game releases fully and it is like you know modern for 2024 for games that you know i hope it's modernized if that's if that's even a word it has like the basic features and things that most games have nowadays like it just didn't shoot there did you guys just not see that did you guys just see that it just did not shoot what the fuck i don't know why it's not shooting but overall like throughout the past day and a half that i played the game it was refreshing it was fun way better than the initial beta like i actually knew what i was doing this time and i had my settings down oh my god i completely forgot to talk about that the 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 controller settings they need to be like just numbers not just like individual like percentages or like numbers that that we have to like figure out bro i just want to pick you know one through 20 right and then have like a sensitivity thing where like it's just a slider that you adjust that's all i want my god let me move bro 
I'm sorry, you're just not that good. Also, give us more map or like UI options, bro. I just got ripped. Holy shit. Oh my god, that guy cannot hit me. If I die one more time with some BS, bro, I'm gonna switch, dude. But yeah, like, this game's very easy to learn, which is also, like, a great thing. Because... Grenade! I'm gonna stop talking real quick. I'm going on a streak. Like, I have four kills. Why don't I have... I'm on a kill streak. I don't have any like score streaks, kill streaks, or I'm not being rewarded for anything, bro. It's genuinely frustrating. Oh, I whiffed, dude. I'm just doing awful right now while sniping, bro. Oh my god, I'm doing so bad. Nobody wanna talk. I don't wanna talk about it, bro. Oh my god. Also, I do wish there were perks as well. I'm gonna have to freaking hard scope. Holy shit. Oh my god. I'm gonna run out of ammo, dude. I'm out of ammo. I'm actually, for once, I'm out of ammo. Let's hope this ACR is good. Oh, it is trash. It's trash, bro. Oh my god. I, I think I went on like a 12 kill streak right there. Oh my god. What the hell? But yeah, those are my like little opinions about X Defiant. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it either way. Drop a like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Join the Discord server down below, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.